APC Despirados. I wonder how far you guys can go just to prove a stupid point. Make una they fear God for this country. So you guys went as far as doctoring a voice of a man of God and that of Peter Obi just to prove a stupid point. Just to bring this man down. Someone who is not even bothered. If you people are existing, you all are running eta scatter. You rigged the election. Nobody said something. You asked him to go to court and he picked up the challenge and went straight to court and just to bring him down. You guys are doing heaven and earth just to bring him down. This time around now, now to daughter the voice of a man of God to cause war between Nigerians. Bishop Onyedipo himself has come out to debunk the news that he has never in his lifetime campaigned for any politician in this country. I will let you guys watch the video. Also, the spokesperson of the Labour Party also has also debunked the news. I will read it out for you guys. But make una fear God for this nation. Let's watch the video. I don't speak what people want to hear. I speak what God tells me to say. That's why some people are very angry with me. Nobody has ever told me what to say in this world. <laughs> no, I've never campaigned for anybody or speak on anybody's behalf. And I will not do that till I go to heaven. Amen. 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 There is no party in this country that didn't come to me for prayer. It's not. And for advice. I advise them some they don't take. <laughs> Amen. Those who choose to take it, they see results. They say no. They're going about it. Trending with reactions trailing the audio recording of a telephone conversation that was purportedly made between the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, and the presiding bishop of Living Faith Church, Bishop David Oyedepo, in which Peter Obi was heard conversing for votes and allegedly used the phrase religious war. The four minute, 17 second audio clip which has since gone viral, was debunked on Sunday by the spokesperson of the Labour Party, Diron Onifade, who described it as a product of the endless forgeries that members of the All Progressives Congress have a notoriety for. The party further stated that the clip was manipulated to suit their narrative and was done to serve no other purpose than to demarket Peter Obi and create a credibility problem for the candidate who has long been on record as the only presidential candidate who has urged Nigerian electorate not to vote for him on the basis of religion or tribe. The audio clip has generated mixed reactions from a cross-section of Nigerians, with some condemning Peter Obi, while others have described the conversation in the audio as being a false representation of the real conversation. Well, this is a snippet of the audio. Let's take a quick listen. Good morning, Daddy. Praise the Lord. How are you, sir? Fine, Daddy. Good morning, Daddy. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are going to get a bright result. Thank you, Daddy. When I hear this, this is your call and prayers. Daddy is very dear to me. Good daddy, I need you to speak to your the people in the Southwest. Your people in the Southwest. Anukwara. Okay. Okay. I've been, I've been the Christians in the Southwest and Quara. This is a religious war. I believe that. I believe that. I said all Nigerians have equal stake in this. <laughs> Nobody has a right to claim that he's dashing something to someone. Thank <laughs> you. We, we are coming out of it. Thank you, Daddy. It's our young family in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Dr. Bati Rufai, several reactions have trailed this audio clip. Like I said, this was just a snippet of that audio. Let me take some reactions. Uh, this is from Kenneth Okonkwo, who wrote, Firstly, the context of the conversation was aptly put by Bishop Oyedepo when he said, All Nigerians have equal stake in this nation. Nobody has a right to claim that he is dashing something to someone. Peter Obi was simply urging. Bishop, the bishop, to help him push this message of equal stake of all Nigerians in the Nigerian project to his people and the Christendom because the politicians of the other party are, carry on, are carrying on 
on this campaign as if it is or it was a religious war. Well, uh, Festus Kiamu uh, wrote, Peter Obi's dream to be president of Nigeria one day has just died a natural death. Well, having confirmed the authenticity of what is now known as the Peter Obi Yes Daddy audio, I think the real culprit here are the so-called men of God who allowed themselves to be used by an unscrupulous politician to seek to inflame religious passions in our dear country in the name of politics. So when they were telling their hapless adherents that they heard the voice of the Lord, that it was actually Peter Obi's telephone calls they heard and not God's voice. This is deceitful, shameful, and disgusting. Imagine a so-called man of God comparing notes with a politician as to what he said or what he would say on the pulpit in order to get him votes. I hope this sufficiently embarrasses the men of God in Nigeria to forthwith desist from using the pulpit for politics and the churchgoers to stop being teleguided by their self-serving men of God. Well, Bishop Oyedepo, while speaking during a sermon on Sunday in Ota Ogun State, hours after the audio clip began circulating, said that he has never campaigned or spoken on behalf of any politician during elections in Nigeria. I don't speak what people want to hear, I speak what God tells me to say. That's why some people are very angry with me. Nobody has ever told me what to say in this world. <laughs> no, I've never campaigned for anybody or speak on anybody's behalf. And I will not do that till I go to heaven. Amen. 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 There is no party in this country that didn't come to me for prayer. There's not. And for advice. I advise them some they don't take. <laughs> Amen. Those who choose to take it, they see results. They say, no, they're going about it. <laughs> if you still come again, I'll tell you. What's the change? All right, Dr. Abati Rufai, the conversation within the Labour Party is whether or not this was doctored or manipulated. Some people like um, Kenneth Okonko has alluded to the fact that the conversation was um, indeed manipulated. But I'll, I'll take a tweet from, um, I believe, uh, Watchman in a series of tweets showed how uh, the audio uh, could have been doctored. I mean, this is one of the tweets. Uh, they wrote, a quick scene edit detection, check on Adobe Premiere Pro, reveals that the audio has indeed been manipulated. Premiere Pro was able to detect four different audios that have been put together to form the four minutes, 17 second audio clip. I mean, I believe we have some um, pictures of that. But Rufai, I'll come to you first. Mm. The first thing I thought about when I saw and uh, when I heard the audio clip, I wondered, could it be Peter Obi that released the audio or could it be the bishop that released the audio? And I said to myself, I doubt it is either of them. I mean, how, why would they want to compromise themselves? And I realized that it could have been tapped into, like you mm -hmm. always say. Yeah. How is it possible that whoever it is, Nigerian government or whatever it is, are able to tap into this type of audio? And our girls, are in the field. Boko Haram can kidnap our girls, and they cannot trace audio clips like this. This is my first thought. This is one of the biggest arguments I had last night when I heard this uh, uh, no, no, audio. Speaks speak volumes. And as regards even they cannot trace, I think there was a French journalist, if my memory serves me right. And when I say if my memory serves me right, I, I might not have the collect recollection of the incident. That was said to have first broke the story about you know, when Shekau had died and the fact that Boko Haram rival groups, mm. you know, were having a big fight back and forth amongst themselves. I think it was that French journalist, he, he had actually tapped into the telephone network mm. of those terrorists, you know, to be able to see what was going on. Uh, one thing is saying, yeah, people can tap into tel telephone networks, but what does the law say about it? People have a right, in Section 33 of the Constitution, uh, to private, their privacy. And that also involves telephonic conversations and the likes. So, number one, that's illegal. Secondly, when you look at it deeply, you know I talked about political season and deep fakes. Yes. I talked did. about well, it about, the, about a year yes, ago. Absolutely. And a lot of people are also saying probably there's some element of that, there's cut and all of that. But like I said this morning, I think it behoves 
on those involved. And like you pointed out that uh, trade of tweets from Watchman, mm -hmm. to be able to now get an independent forensic verification, mm -hmm. to be able to know what really happened. All right, if the Labour Party camp has said, no, uh, that's not us speaking, that it was doctored and all of that, and the APC say, no, it's, the, it's true, it happened and all of that, I think it's a comment on us to get an independent forensic mm -hmm. verification into all that happened. The Labour Party also went ahead to say that they've received intel about the specific attacks. I think they must be able to name, and people, you know, who they suspect they might have done this should be taken to court. But generally speaking, things are overheated as regards religious tension and ethnic tension as we speak. We must not have people inflaming those tensions, all right? Not for any gains possible. I totally condemn that aspect. But as regards this, more forensic work has to be done. There has been multiple reactions. I mean, part of the reaction that first came was that Kenneth Okonkwo's reaction, mm. that some people said, oh, he was confirming it. But he was saying, oh, probably that was taken out of context. No, he but, was, I think he was saying mm. that the audio was uh, manipulated, saying yeah. that the conversation, the conversation. was not um, yeah. thoroughly so, done so, or something so like that. So the truth right. has to be told. Whatever it is about this conversation, it should be subjected to forensic tests so we can ascertain what it is. Then people cannot put out a very robust position about what truly happened. Mm -hmm. Because this is not the first time. If you remember, too, the, there was another conversation that was said to have been leaked that a couple of PDP people were speaking. But obviously, you know, that was a bad job at manipulation because it was so clear that if you have an ear for audio, you know they were just cutting and joining and cutting and joining. And when you take it through,